WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network market update. Basil Chapman here. The, Dow's, uh, the Dow, let me go. I've got Disney there, but I need to look at the Dow. The Dow is down 189, 190. <clears throat> Yesterday it was up 300. Today it's down 190. And I've been talking about this pattern, the lowercase h pattern that goes to lowercase m, all within a rectangle, plus the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, which became yesterday a propellant zone. Now it's back there. We'll talk about that in the show coming up. I'll be sitting in for Steve Rhodes, who's still away. We're looking at the S&P right now. <clears throat> S&P is down 42 at 4462. I didn't act as well as it should have yesterday, and the QQQs were even worse. And they have been repelled at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. 371.49 down 575 SMHs are even worse in the sense that they should have been leading and they're not. They're leading to the downside, down four points at 147. We're looking at gold having a really nice. Now, is this the trade that says <clears throat> because everything else is looking so bad, gold stocks are kind of oversold? Is this just a bounce or is it telling us that the dollar, which is trading, uh, down 10 ticks at 105.23. It's getting somewhat overbought and is in for a big dip. I think it's a combination of the oversold plus some anticipation of the dollars moved up so high that it should pull back. I, I think that you've got to be careful there. But in the meantime, independently, you've got gold doing well, and that's important uh, because it gives buyers a place to go to. You've always got to have a place to go to. The TLT is down again, so yields are moving up, down 27 ticks. And crude oil, let's see where it is right now, up 47 cents at 90.62. And those home builders, um, well, if you look at the TLT down at 93.26, and you look at some of the home builders like Toll Brothers, now they're taking on some heat. But those weekly charts at this point are still looking really good except if you know your patterns and you can draw in a vertical line like this and say back here in June, July of this year on the weekly chart, look how strong the technicals were. But ooh, wait a minute, it goes to a modest new high by about a couple of pennies and the technicals are not nearly so good on the right side. That says ah, a little bit of weakness could be coming in. So I'll be doing uh, the show coming up in a moment and I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah. This is going to be a very interesting close on the day. We'll see if this trend line in the E-mini gets hit. Look at that trend line to the bottom. I'll be back.